Welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Realm, and this is your creator, Dixon, logging on. How's it going everyone? This is Dixon of the Ultimate Gaming Realm logging on. In this episode, I'm doing a look back on my very first episode I did back in 2012, when I used to be the Ultramaniac Gamer. It's an episode that involves three Xbox Live Arcade games that were originally PC games from the 90s that were ported to the Xbox Live Arcade. Which I no longer have on my YouTube channel any longer, and I regret making it because it was pretty stupid. But I'm going to leave a little clip in here to explain a few things that I did right and wrong. So please do enjoy. The episode involving three Xbox Live Arcade ports of classic id Software games. Wolfenstein 3D, Doom, and Doom 2. Oh yeah, my very first gaming episode I ever did. What can I say? Well, a lot actually. First of all, I got my CyberPower PC a few months earlier, and I was using at the time an old Avermedia recording device, and the highest recording quality is using the component. And nearly about a few weeks before I did this review, during the Black Friday sale, I got a pair of Turtle Beach Air Force X12 headphones that mainly target for online communication for Xbox 360, but it also works for PC. But I didn't get the set for online communication. I mainly bought the set for broadcasting, and yes, I know it's not what it's for, but it worked. But that's what I thought back then. And back then I didn't really think about proper voice quality. But nowadays, I have a real broadcast microphone. The Blue Snowball Mic. Now that I have the real microphone, I just wish I can go back and fix my crappy voice quality with the Blue Snowball Mic. Because there's a big difference between the headset mic and an actual microphone. And depending on what you're using a microphone for, you must have the proper microphone for that task. But like I said, it was my first episode. So there's a lot of flaws I have to expect so I can learn for the future, if you know what I mean. And my very first episode is also one of my least favorite out of all episodes I ever did. Because there was a lot more to this episode than weak-ass equipment. I was doing my first few episodes unscripted. And I was putting the stupid message about my amateur status during the first few episodes at the beginning. Which I should have fought that it was quite unnecessary. Because I'm pretty sure the audience would understand... And I was born with a learning disability, so it's something you have to expect, especially from a beginner. The way I reviewed the episode, I was being kind of hardcore, but I was overreacting. And should you say I was nitpicking instead of shitpicking? Well, probably was doing both maybe. Well, most likely I was nitpicking, I guess. During that time, I had issues with publishers like Activision or Microsoft, which I regret mouthing off about. But I didn't like what they were doing in somewhat ways, like overpricing their games or products or how they treat their employees. Like how Activision treated developer Infinity Ward, for instance. I still have respect for all companies, and every company is going to have its own set of flaws regardless. So I wouldn't take it too personal. After all, they still make great games, and and sometimes that's the way how business is. Now the games themselves. I was bitching about the games not having the cheat codes, which I like using for fun, not just for advantages. Now here's one problem I'm going to explain, and this is for all three of the games. The original PC versions and the other console ports always had them, but this is for the first time. This, these ones don't. I'm talking about the cheat codes. Yes, the god mode, all weapons mode, all ammo mode, and level selection mode. Did you hear how bad that audio sounds? That was from the microphone from my headset. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? It's a good thing I don't use that one anymore. <laughs> Well, I actually did kind of improve a little bit with in the next videos about trying to get around to uh, 
the bad audio scramble with the headset, but that still didn't do 100% good because because using a microphone off the headset is really crappy for narrating. Back to the cheat codes. But then again, that's not a huge deal. Here's two issues that I don't regret talking about. Well, actually, only talked about one of them. The other one I didn't mention, but this issue here I did. Is the XBLA port of Wolfenstein 3D about how slow the music is in this version compared to the PC version? See what I mean? And the other complaint I had is that I didn't mention in the episode is that the XBLA port is not the updated map port with better graphics and extra weapons like the rocket launcher or the flamethrower. Those are the only two complaints that I don't regret. But the XBLA port of Wolfenstein 3D is still a decent port. But if I want to continue playing console ports of Wolfenstein 3D, I would rather play them on obscure consoles like the Atari Jaguar and the 3DO since those ones were Mac ported. There's not much more to all three of the Xbox Live Arcade ports of id Software games. They are still good ports, but a real way of playing these games is on a home computer. Always. Oh, and another big complaint that comes in mind when looking back. I did a shitty ass job. But at least I keep getting better at making videos since then. Now lately these three titles also became backwards compatible on the Xbox One console. So you can play them on the Xbox One console digitally. If you're interested. But to me it doesn't really make a difference because I'm still going to always stick to the PC ports. That was my look back on my very first episode. And I'm not going to be talking about that episode ever again. I might talk about the Xbox Live Arcade ports as references to other games in the future, maybe, but not going to look back on that episode again. And this is Dixon of the Ultimate Gaming Realm, logging off.